Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at the new BioLite Headlamp 200. So I just recently got this from BioLite. I've done some reviews and overviews of other products that they put out. Uh, they do have another headlamp. It's definitely smaller than this one. Uh, this one comes in a couple different colors. I'll roll in some photos here. Uh, I particularly like this kind of green, in sort of a lime green in the middle and then fades off to a darker green on the, uh, on the sides there. Some of your details on this light. First of all, it is USB rechargeable. It comes with a 700 milliamp lithium ion battery built in. Your total weight is 1.75 ounces. That's 50 grams. So it is very, very lightweight, uh, which you, you sense that when you put it on immediately. You're like, yeah, this is lighter than a lot of other uh, headlamps that you know are standard on the market. Um, you've got a couple different settings. You have a normal white LED that's going to go from 5 lumens up to 200 lumens on an infinity loop. So you can stop anywhere in that range to, uh, you know, basically to use that amount of output. You also have a red light. Then you have a red light flashing as a red strobe, a white light flashing as a white strobe. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a cool light. The thing I immediately noticed about it is that it feels really nice on my head. It's not like it's got all kinds of things that are digging into my scalp and then the second thing is that it uh it's so lightweight that just it's it's notable when you put it on how light this thing is so a couple things to note here when you get the light it's going to come to you locked so you're going to hold down this button up on the top for eight seconds and then it's going to flash basically to tell you that it is unlocked if you hold it down again for eight seconds it will lock and then when you press it when it's locked it's just going to flash at you twice like that to say that it is uh it's locked and you got to hold it down for eight seconds to unlock it. So when I'm outside, I'll show you the different features and functions as far as how it operates, but let me just show you the light up close. So they do call these smart fabrics here, and they say basically that they're uh, they're going to keep you cool and dry during activity. It's a very thin, it looks and feels almost like neoprene. Um, if that's what it is, then it definitely, it doesn't feel like it's, uh, you know, trapping the heat in. Definitely breathable is a good word to use for it. The light does articulate, so you can point it straight out like it is now, or you can bend it down like so. So when you're like, you know, reading something, you're looking at a, uh, a map, let's say, uh, it can look straight down as opposed to you having to re-angle your head in a weird direction. And it basically clicks in on the side with these little slots. So as you bring it back, it'll lock in that way and then all the way. So here's where you're going to get your output of light. And then this little uh, green light and red light on the side, this is going to tell you how charged it is. So they don't give you actual numbers, but when it flashes four times, it looks like it's about 10%. When it flashes red twice, it's a little bit less than 50%. When it flashes green twice, it's above 50%. Charging is easy to do. There's your micro USB. They do include a micro USB cord with that in addition to some instructions. I've got right here, they've got some warranty information as well. Let me just show you real quick the different outputs. So you've got your, there's your flashing red. There's your flashing white. And you got your red and then your white, and then back off again. Okay, I'm outside now. We're gonna test out the light, and I'm about 10 feet away from my back fence. Just wanna show you what the different features look like um, in the full darkness of night. So obviously, here's the light on. Let me turn it off, back on, and I'm gonna dim it all the way down to the lowest setting. So when you see it flash, that means it's the lowest setting. There's my, my hand just to show you that it's on. But I can still see the fence, but you can't see much on camera here. So this is five lumens. Let me go all the way up to the 200. And then obviously you can do anything you want in between. Let me drop it down a little bit here. If I want to go back up again. So when you stop, you'll see that double flash. But as I'm going back down here, if I stop here, wait a second, and then hit it again, it's actually going to go back up. So just a note, it won't stop midway and then continue going down. It's stop back up, double flash, hold it down, and all the way down. Okay, so now I've got it set on the red. Let me just shine that at my hand so you can see what that looks like. And now I'm gonna dim it all the way down to the lowest level of red. It's at the highest level now. We're gonna bring it down to the lowest level. They don't give you an actual output for this, but you can definitely see a difference as uh, I drop down the, uh, the amount of output for this. So just watch my hand here. So there's your red setting. Now let me show you the white strobe and then I'll show you the red strobe. Okay. 
as you can see, I've got the light articulated down now, but let me just show you what it looks like. So it's, it's pointing down as far as it can possibly go. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Like I've got the box here just to show you if I, like I was reading something like a map or even just like sitting in camp at night, you know, I don't have to basically angle my head all strangely because this points down very nicely. So here's what it looks like up close. So on the red setting, I can see maybe seven feet out around me, not super well. Definitely will save your, uh, your night vision, but you're probably not gonna hike like through any kind of thick woods uh, with it set like this. So what I wanna do now is actually show you the, uh, the white light as far as the output and uh, yeah, what you can see with it down to the lowest and then up to the higher settings. Okay, I'm outside, I'm looking at my shed. It's about probably 65 feet away. I've got the white output on and it's got basically, you know, I, I can see okay here in the backyard, but on camera you can't really pick anything up. So at five lumens, with the, with the spread of the light, with the flood of the light, I can actually see pretty decently, which is pretty impressive for five lumens. Um, I could definitely, you know, hike around uh, using this as long as uh, the woods weren't too thick. Let me scroll up now just so you can see the progression and when you can see it. So you can see pretty well on camera, but I, I can tell you, I mean, confidently, I could see everything, uh, you know, in front of me and probably 20 feet across between me and the shed right now. And they're saying 50 meters of throw with this light. And I would, I mean, I could, I could see quite easily, you know, 65 or 70 feet. So double that, we'll go to a different spot and see how well we can see. Here's what it looks like to, uh, to walk with it and how you can see right in front of you. I mean, totally, totally fine. If you were walking down the trail, you'd be, be good to go with this thing. So we're looking at this oak tree, which is about 70 feet away, 75 feet away. And uh, this is definitely gonna be more of a flooding uh, headlamp that is gonna be you know, throwing a ton of light out into the, uh, into the darkness. But you can see, especially when you look down at the ground, and then up with the reflection off the uh, lighter colored dirt as opposed to looking into the, uh, the darkness of the woods. You can, I mean, you can see totally fine. Let me walk out that way now. So from where I am right now, the uh, the trees that you can see off in the distance, that's about 115 feet away. And uh, yeah, I mean, once again, I can see quite well. I, I could see the trees decently, I would say. Um, if I had to spot something small out there in the woods, that'd be really challenging to do. But as it is, as far as hiking, you know, using this around camp, using this at home, trying to fix a car, this thing definitely gives plenty of light. And again, at the weight, man, it's so super lightweight. Um, it's that's definitely going to be an advantage for people if you want a light that's USB rechargeable, lightweight, giving you a, a good amount of output. This is something you're probably want, going to want to check out. Let's wrap up here talking about the BioLite Headlamp 200. So your price point for this is right around $45. I think it's $44.95 at the time of this video. So I've been thinking about this light and kind of where it fits into the headlamp world. And if you take all the different headlamps out there, I think this has probably two or three main features that are gonna fit into a particular niche for people. So you've got all headlamps out there, and then you have headlamps that I actually believe in the company that starts to shrink it significantly. Because there's a lot of companies out there that, making, that are making headlamps, uh, particularly on Amazon. You know, it's like, this one can burn through steel, and this one is 500,000 lumens, and it's just garbage, it's just marketing. So from all headlamps to, to companies I trust, and then to rechargeable headlamps, um, that is a smaller niche and then you have all those different factors, companies that trust rechargeable and then weight. This is the lightest one I've seen out there that fits all those different character characteristics of a company I trust, uh, USB rechargeable and lightweight. So I like Princeton Tech, I like Phoenix, um, Olight, uh, Through Night. 
There are definitely lights out there that are headlamps, that are small, that are USB rechargeable, that put out more lumens. But as far as all those factors and then really lightweight, this one is one of the lightest out there that I've seen that I would stand behind. Um, at I think it's like 1.74, 1.76 ounces. Uh, the other ones I looked at are like three and a half ounces and up, which isn't a ton of weight, but if you're really a minimalist on weight, this is a light you're probably gonna wanna look into as far as a headlamp. And then again, BioLite, I've used a pretty wide variety of their products and they've worked really well. I haven't had any major fails, no major issues. Um, again, if you want something that's 500 lumens, 1,000 lumens in a headlamp, then this is definitely not the one for you. You gotta go with something else. But if that 200 lumen range works for you, you want something that's lightweight and a good company, then this could be something that's worth uh, checking out. You know, other compact lights like this, Princeton Tech, um, Black Diamond, they make, they make good headlamps. But again, this one is the lightest one that I've seen out there so far that meets all those other uh, requirements. One last thing I'll say is that if you're a runner, this could be a good headlamp for you. Um, because it is so lightweight and this is very breathable fabric, um, it, it might be something that you want to think about using because uh, a big heavy headlamp, obviously, while you're out running can be, can be a hassle. Um, if you own this light or if you've tested this light, let me hear your thoughts on it and share those uh, thoughts in the comments so others can hear about your experience with this light. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.